good morning. This is Bobby Dupre with the Bobby Dupre Show, presented to you each Thursday morning at 7 a.m. And, of course, uh, the program replays its in, in its entirety on Sunday afternoon at 3 p.m. And 24 hours a day on the Internet. I guess that just kind of wraps it up. That's all. Uh, if you want to watch us, uh, you have a cell phone that's uh, connected to the Internet. You can watch it. You have your computers, uh, your iPads, just TV, whatever. So th there's all kind of ways to watch the Bobby Dupre show. And, of course, you'll not only watch Bobby Dupre, you're going to watch Andrew Gietro, well, the morning. sidekick on Man. the program. And if I run out of uh, voice... Uh, Andrew, just uh, take I over. It. I brought I brought uh, extra voice you this week. You brought extra. Mm -hmm. uh, brought extra back. Starting uh, this past Friday uh, morning, I didn't realize, uh, didn't get any phone calls. Uh, took my shower, dressed up, went to a place of business, went to Sonia's, and uh, went to place my order, and nothing came out, no voice. <laughs> and uh, realized uh, what it caused it. I had gone to the races the night before, and I Instead of sitting in my seating area, uh, I sat with uh, Mr. Joe Rink and just the two of us that night. It was rather unusual. And uh, he, he's always complaining about the, uh, the vent over his table that mm. really puts some coal in. In fact, he wears a brings a little windbreaker. And most of the time, he has a cap on. He even offered to go get me a cap. Well. I said, no, and then every once in a while it would go off and you'd kind of warm up and then here it comes again. Anyhow, I've really hardly gone to the office. I went to church Sunday and, and went to the office and, and that's about it. Very, very uh, staying home, trying to not talk too much. So hopefully uh, one hour of talking, but between the two of us we can, we can work it out. We'll make it work. Uh, I'm confident. And... Uh, Maybe maybe I'm well. I'm not sure. I guess I should have gone and see Dr. Tate. And uh, I don't think everybody says and get a shot. I, I don't think Dr. Tate likes the shots. Uh, I, I think uh, I went to Dr. Basil. I didn't get no shot. And so, here I sound so good this week. You uh -huh. just stick with me. Yep, yep. <laughs> and 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 I've been asked to go. I've been advised to go. And uh, it just about that time that. Advise me, I'm feeling a little bit better. Do Dr. Bazile was shocked. He never saw me walk in walk unless in. I was half dead. I remember we you know talked I mean? about that, that last week. Usually, yeah. I went ahead of it this time, and I, I don't regret it. I feel pretty good. Well, uh, what you want to do? We, well, we want, we want our sponsors. Oh, that, they, we have they make sponsors? All I don't know. We have sponsors. Here. Let's go. Let's go with Piggly Wiggly right out the gate, man. It's going to be a nice weekend. The weather's going to clear. It's cool outside. You know, we just had, we we're filming this on Wednesday. The little cold front has just kind of blown through. The rain just happened. It's going to clear for the weekend. You can barbecue, get your boneless pork chops from Piggly Wiggly, get your certified Angus ground chuck at Piggly Wiggly, Look both on sale under steaks. $3 Look a pound. Uh, shrimp, they've got shrimp there. They've got ground turkey. If you're trying to do something a little bit more health conscious, a little less fat in it, go by and see them. they got locations, two in Opelousas, one in beautiful downtown Simsport. The pig knows best. And let's go with one more. Well, well, let's, let's, while what, we own groceries yeah, and all yeah. of that, Chuck Wood, who's the uh, GM, general manager of uh, Delta Media, mm -hmm. uh, radio stations and television stations. Parent company of KDCG. That, that's correct. Mm -hmm. uh, he was giving us some advice. We have some donuts here. Y'all can probably mm -hmm. see the box right here of donuts. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll get to that in a little while. But uh, he, I offered... Uh, Chuck won, and uh, what he said about he's only... He's on a no-wheat diet. No-wheat diet. That's what he says. And I always thought that that's what you ate was wheat bread. I mean, they'll, they'll offer you white bread or wheat bread. Uh, maybe wheat bread is a little bit better than that, but according to him, he's not eating it, and he's lost weight, mm -hmm. and his stomach has shrunk. That's what he said. And that's important. Mm -hmm. That's not easy to do. So, Chuck, uh, thanks for the info, but I'm going to keep eating my donut now and then. I can't eat too much sweets because then right. that's another problem you have to mm -hmm. be concerned about is sugar. Sure. But uh, anyhow, uh, get, the, get the other sponsor, then we'll come back to the donuts. All right, I'll do that. How about let's go to Steamboat Warehouse while we're eating. Get Mama away from the smell of her own cooking. Go to Steamboat Warehouse in beautiful... Uh, downtown Washington, the old historic building built in the 1820s, made out of cypress and brick. Beautiful place. Chef owner Jason Hugay's got all that great seafood, all those great steaks. 
just down there a couple of weeks ago. My kids went down for the prom, and I went stalk them while they were having fun eating at the prom. I, I stalked them. I, I sat in the bar and waited with the camera to take their pictures out on the deck afterwards. But beautiful place, great atmosphere, place to bring your honey. Go buy the steamboat warehouse. It's kind of dangerous to use that word stalking. Uh, well, I, I, you know, well, uh, my kids. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, and talking about the prom and mm -hmm. the graduations uh, coming up in about right. uh, well, start it's some. Some have already started. Some in fact, start, I have a right. story to talk about uh, in a few minutes. Friday's uh, OC, uh, next week's OHS. But, uh, so uh, South Louisiana uh, Community College mm -hmm. graduated last week. There's a nice ad, don't let prom or graduation end in tragedy. And uh, of course, this is uh, Don't Drink and Drive, Earl Taylor, District Attorney, St. Landry Parish. We are, of course, talking each week now about the seat belt. Mm -hmm. and the seat belt I, I don't, used to be, I think it was Toyota had it, when you start your car, the seat belt would come across. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, that didn't last. But something like that is almost necessary because here we are seeing so, so many people killed. Now, the little schoolgirl, she was a sophomore from Opelousas, mm -hmm. on the way to school, Beauchamp High School. Apparently, she was just Miss Popular. Uh, just everybody, everybody loved her. Loved Basketball her. I mean, player, active in everything. Everything. If it, if something beautiful moved, girl. if something moved beautiful. at that school, she was part of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the way to school, don't know what happened, but she lost control, control momentarily. She overreacted like most of the time. When you run over on the right, you end up in cutting hard, and you get on the left, and a school bus. <coughs> and fortunately, there were no children in the school bus because right. they haven't gotten the seat belts yet. Go again, we're talking about seat belts. Right. You would think that after all of these years and all of these accidents, school bus companies would manufacture them and have it as part of the unit. And I still don't understand how that slipped by all these years and all the children that have gotten injured and crippled and killed. But anyhow, uh, we see accident after accident happening. This young girl, don't think it would have prevented her possible death, but she didn't have a seat belt on. So all of us, including me, when now I, I'm checking my seat belt when I go to drive out the driveway of my house. If I don't have it on, I stop my car and, mm -hmm. I, and I slip it on. I'm trying to form the habit because old timers like us, we, we didn't believe in that. But I'm a, a firm believer, especially with now in the accident, shortly after the article starts, they comment whether there were people that got injured seriously or killed. Mm -hmm. They'll mention whether or not they were wearing the seatbelt. So please, uh, you're going to hear me, but I'm, I'm not going to stop yet. I'm going to try to do this at you. least once each week. Mm -hmm. Please, let's all of us make this holiday. I call it a holiday. It's not a holiday. These graduation and these proms taking place and the parties that are held before the graduation, after the graduation, let's all be careful, please. How about this? Find your T-shirt. Knights of Columbus Blood Drive. The annual blood drive is coming. And our friend Mr. Herschel Walker dropped us a note in a T-shirt again. Uh, that's this Sunday, May Herschel 18th. Herschel Leger. Herschel Leger. Was that Herschel Walker? Oh. <laughs> well, he runs fast, too. Mr. Herschel Leger runs just as fast as Herschel Walker. Now, where's the ad? Uh, you, you didn't... Oh, I got the ad, too. Huh? Yeah, Man, I did more he, than that. He we, sent us... He got, oh, he got he, extra advertising. How about this? Show the ad, too. Our Lady Queen of Angels Blood Drive, Sunday, May 18th, 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. in the Blood Mobile. And Mr. Herschel wrote on the poster, thanks, Bobby and Andrew. It's United Blood Services that's going to be helping. If you want to, you can fill out the health history questionnaire online uh, to have that all ready to turn in to do it quick. And they're going to give you a, a sling bag, I think, or a T-shirt and a free cholesterol test. So go by and help out. That's help, probably $100 help out your if you go to get that test. The Knights of Columbus, are, oh, at least, so I think it might cost me maybe more than, by the time you do the visit and everything, yeah. it's more than $100. So uh, go by. Mr. Herschel, thanks so much for hunting me down to make sure we got the, the info. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. And uh, what else are we going to talk well, about? Well, we, we have, 
Let's talk about the donut place Go here. Go ahead. Uh, yesterday, that would have been Tuesday, I had lunch over at uh, Kelly's uh, Diner on uh, South Union Street mm -hmm. and uh, had a visit with uh, Kelly and, and Elaine, husband and wife, owners, and uh, he asked me if I had heard about the new donut shop that had opened uh, in his uh, little... Uh, what shopping mall. Shopping mall. <laughs> I guess he's shopping gone. center. You got a whole little shopping That's center. That's correct. There. So he had a donut shop there, but they had moved out. They, I think, uh, I can't think of the guy's name. I know him well. Right. Uh, had decided to get out of that business. That's a tough business. That's mm -hmm. early, early, early in the morning. Two or three o'clock in the morning, you've got to start to make these so you can be ready to start selling them at six o'clock in the morning. So, anyhow, uh, I said, no, I, I didn't hear that. So this morning before coming to the studio here, I swung by uh, Kelly's and he and his daughter uh, Cindy, and I have a picture to prove it. Mm -hmm. Let's go. And that's Breeze Donuts. And uh, not, that's a picture of uh, Kelly and his daughter Cindy being served donuts by these two young ladies who uh, are from uh, California. Mm -hmm. uh, their parents and grandparents are from Cambodia and uh, Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, of course, I think were born in the United States, mm -hmm. United States citizens. Uh, this particular family has a, a donut shop in Crowley and one in Rain, and they go as Donut Queen mm -hmm. is the name of those. This one, they call it Breeze. I guess that's, uh, I, I'm not sure what that stands for. I should have asked the young lady, but I was kind of hurrying because we needed to, I needed to get here with you to start taping the program Wednesday morning. And uh, of course, like I said, this is on South Union Street in the same building where you can get Kelly's uh, Country Meat Block for all of your mm -hmm. Cajun style meats and mm -hmm. uh, others. And, and uh, Kelly's Diner next door. And then Kelly's Diner next door and then the mm -hmm. Pizza Shack and the young Pizza ladies Hut. who uh, do the uh, hair uh, from Crot Springs, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. uh, anyhow, oh no, he built, he made a real nice uh, little mall, shopping mm -hmm. mall there. And uh, these two young ladies, the one on the left uh, is uh, Devon, Devon, and the one on the right is... Uh, Teroth. Is that what it is? Teroth, right, Teroth. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the spelling that they gave that I can pronounce it. That's, right, they would write it a little different. If I'm you sure. write it different, now I, did, I, I didn't even get to the last name. It's even more mm -hmm. uh, difficult for it Cajun. It wasn't Cajun, to it wasn't Cajun. Not Cajun, but the donuts. The donuts are very Cajun. Very, very Cajun. Nice and glazed. Nice and glazed. Man, if I want. And whoa, we, we ate yeah. most of them already. Oh, I think yeah, it must be I mean, all nice that. and large and uh, I'm Freshly impressed. made I'm impressed. this morning. They tasted good to me. And they tasted good. Thank mm -hmm. you all very much. And uh, they're pretty sharp. I went to pay for it. They mm -hmm. said, no, you're doing advertising for us. We appreciate what it. What a deal. You know, and not many of them think about that. That's correct. But what I'm thinking about is a one-minute break to let our advertisers help support us. So we'll see you folks on the other side of one, one minute. One minute. Welcome back to the Bobby Dupre Show, the second quarter of it, and my sidekick, Andrew. And let's get right into a couple of our good sponsors that all make right. all of I'm this ready. available. I hope I'm ready. What I got? Let's go with Quarters Casino right there just north of Opelousas. Let's go to Quarters Casino at exit 20. Well, Steve is fast. Exit 23. Before I could say it, he already had it up. Exit 23 off I-49. Chevron Fuel, locally owned. You can get all your diesel, all your, your good unleaded fuels, all right there. Well lit, well covered. Uh, good concrete, keep your feet nice and dry, go inside, get you some Stuckey's candy, some Subway sandwiches, some uh, Johnson Brothers pizza, I think is what they call that stuff in there. They got El Pico de Gallo, authentic Mexican cuisine and cantina with margaritas, if you like that sort of thing. And the little machines. And the little machines that you might get lucky with. Over to Quarters Casino casino. Travel Plaza. And one more sponsor. Let's go with, how about Targill Seasoning and Supplies. Go see Ted over at Targill. He'll help you out with seasoning, butcher supplies, cutlery, kitchen supplies, 
the wrapping paper, if you're a butcher, you need that for your, your, your store. You need knives. If you're an outdoor uh, kitchen kind of guy, if you're a caterer, if you're a restaurant, grocery store, whatever, you can do it all. If you make your own sausage, they got all the stuff you need from the grinders to the seasonings. They can also do all, all the casings. You can get all that stuff there as well. If you want to learn how to make cakes and pies, they do cake and pie uh, classes. And they also sell you all the pans and all the, the uh, fillings to go in there as well. Go by Targill on Wartell Street. On the uh, death side, I have a few uh, obituaries to mention today, mm -hmm. and uh, I guess one of the, uh, uh, well, old timers would be uh, the foundation of Opelousas, you know, modern mm -hmm. uh, day foundation, uh, Mr. Albert Boudreau, age 90. Uh, he was, uh, comes from a long time, uh, Opelousas, well-known family. Uh, he was an attorney. Uh, probably practiced in that same location because he came back and he went to work and then formed a partnership with Mr. Vise Pavi. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you, well, I guess was his brother-in-law. Uh, bro I think it's brother-in-law. Because mm -hmm. uh, he, mar he married Miss Miss Ida Pavi. Right. And it was really something. If you wanted some information back in the day, you went to see Mr. Vise Pavi. Uh -huh. He knew everything going on and he was so close to the Cajun culture, the French people trusted him. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a real trust and uh, you still have to trust your attorney, mm -hmm. trust your CPA, you know, trust your doctor, people, trust mm -hmm. your insurance agent, trust the people talking to you on the phone and visiting with you TV? at your house on, on TV. TV. <laughs> uh, it, you, you have to trust us that sure. what we say and we believe mm -hmm. might not be totally correct, but as far as we know it is. But, but as far as we know, there's always that taint. <laughs> <laughs> the taint of the truth. Like we would, we're not going to go into that because that's a, that guy ended up serving trouble <laughs> some, some time with that taint. All you had to have, he All, said, was a taint. Well, he had a little more than that taint. He had twisted that taint <laughs> around. But anyhow, uh, Mr. Albert uh, family, well, well known and respected. In fact, uh, it was interesting to see that he was the captain of his uh, AIC football team. I guess back it would have been six-man football six in those man, days. Oh, yeah, no six-man team. Yeah. and uh, went, had a great education. He went to Spring Hill College, mm -hmm. went to Loyola, and had LSU. some and LSU. So uh, not only was he a beautiful man, and he and his wife were just everywhere. If you went to an event, they were there. Uh, you attended the annual Santa breakfast, they were there. And, then and of course, their son, Ben, has a child that got some great therapy at our Several clinics, clinics. Mm -hmm. in Opelousas. And uh, he's uh, survived by his son, Al, uh, Henry, Ben, Chris, and James. Mm -hmm. Nice sized family. And Al, an attorney in, in the same firm that, that yeah. his daddy was. And, 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 and lives Doug. upstairs in the uh, upstairs apartment. I guess, does he actually live up there or uh, there's uh, just a little place he kind of hangs out? Which way does it go? That's, that's the actual homestead? At, at some point it was. Mm -hmm. Don't know about it today. I won't swear about it. <coughs> then on Tuesday, I attended uh, three uh, wakes, and uh, Charles Ray uh, from uh, Lewisburg, right. uh, part of the, his mother was a Bork, so the Ray and the Bork family, uh, they had uh, several businesses back in the day, and uh, Charles went to work. He's a graduate of AIC, I might add. Uh, he went to work with the uh, Lewisburg water system. And I would say he was probably one of the founding workers uh, with the system. And if my memory serves me correctly, uh, Harold Fontenot, who of course is now deceased, uh, from Lewisburg, Harold was born and raised right there and with mm -hmm. a big grocery store that his mom and daddy operated for years. and. Uh, Harold was, was, I think, the founding president un until he died. He was still with part of the Lewisburg. And uh, so visited, visited with it. One of his daughters was there, visited with them, and uh, also visited with uh, the family of Gordon uh, Lalonde Sr. And Gordon Jr. was there. And I didn't realize it, but Gordon Lalonde Sr. Uh, was well known and uh, an accomplished accordion player. And uh, I'm sure that over the years I went to a place and he was playing. I mean, it, 
the type of places they were naming that he played, I went to those places. So mm -hmm. I, I missed him. He, his son, Gordon Jr., uh, plays the guitar, and he has a grandson that's playing uh, the uh, accordion. And uh, I, I had a real good visit. They were so glad uh, that, that I had gone by, and I don't think they realized that Gordon and I uh, had a friendship relationship, pick at each other, no matter where we met up, we had a few words to to say, uh, friendly words that we discussed. And then uh, Robert Scruggins. Uh, uh, Everybody knew him as Frog. In Port Barry. Mm -hmm. And uh, worked and retired from uh, Slimco, mm -hmm. uh, out of Karen Crow, Slimco Electric. And uh, he was age 70, a well, well, Scruggins family, well, well known, in fact, would that be one of his nephew uh, has uh, uh, an important position with the St. Andrew Parish School Matt. Board? Mm -hmm. Matt. Uh, Matt, I think, mm -hmm. uh, is it computers he's in charge of? IT department, or is mm, it? I think it's personnel. Per that maybe his his father had that job. Well, uh, Le years Leon. Ago. Right, exactly. Leon. Leon was my age. Absolutely. Uh, I think we went to college together, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Frog's wife, Barbara, uh, worked for many, many years at Dupre Area Gotcha mm -hmm. Insurance. So uh, people that we really well, well known. Mm -hmm. uh, that's we it on the death side, unless my notes uh, tell we, me otherwise in a few minutes. We've got this, some of the historic Delta Grand Theater in Opelousas is going to have uh, camp classes for kids to go and learn about theater. Uh, the camp dates are July the 7th through July 24th. $100 a week or $250 buys all three weeks, and they're going to work towards doing a production of Peter Pan over there at the Delta Grand. If you want to give them a call, it's a good thing for your kids to do this summer. Give them, keep them occupied and get them to learn something at the same time. Call Tammy Lamonte, 407-1806. And speaking of the Delta Grand, uh, I'm planning and attending, and I've invited you. Of course, the public is invited, not mm -hmm. Bobby Dupre. The public is invited. I just reminded you mm -hmm. this morning uh, the president of the parish government, St. Leonard Parish Government, uh, Bill Fontenot, is given a, a state of the union for the parish. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had not done that so far. And he said that, uh, I watched him on television this morning early, mm -hmm. and uh, commented that It'll he It'll be felt, Wednesday night, actually, night before yeah, the show airs. That, that's correct. Right. I'm going to be going there tonight, but that's Wednesday night. That's yesterday so for y'all. <laughs> Next week before, uh, hopefully, I can sit in an area where I'm close enough to take a few pictures and, uh, and, and discuss personally what, what I what got out of it. Mm -hmm. And it won't just be about the roads. He was emphatic on that. I mean, the roads is the big thing that's happening in the St. Landry Parish. But there's a lot of other good things happening, like at the Yamberley building. I showed some pictures of mm -hmm. how they, re they just cleaned up that building with basically use, use of trustee uh, help and, and gallons of paint and, and some brushes and, and some scrubbing and elbow grease mm -hmm. and got the building looking good. And according to uh, articles in the paper, uh, the animal shelter is also uh, being really renovated and enlarged. And had a huge event at the end, I believe, at this the, weekend the, for that. People brought the animals in to get them uh, you could get that them uh, ID. Right, coded. You know, they with, put with that, that chip, chip in and, them. And then you could get your... your and it was your, free. That's right. Get your, get your pet cleaned up while they're there. If you wanted to get another pet, there were animals there to be adopted. Had a huge, great event there. Uh, so I, next I always, week... I always say Miss Mary Reshore, because that's who always <clears> keeps me up to date on it. Good morning, Mary. And I uh, want to remind everybody that uh, part of the Louisiana High School Boxing Association a group that uh, was formed to hold a reunion, and then more notably, I guess, would be uh, the presentation of these uh, Hall of Fame awards. Uh, we had 33 of these awards uh, given out in October of last year, uh, 2013, and on June 28th of this year, we're going to hold the second, and I think could be the last. We're going to be giving out another 32 of these uh, highly... Uh, deserving awards, I might ask, I might add. And, but the board itself is having a meeting on the 20th uh, of October, and uh, that's going to be at the Sunset Event Center, the same place where we're going to be holding the event 
that we held last year. It accommodated our group well. I heard nothing but, you know, praise for everybody seating uh, up and could see the Theater presentation. No matter where mm -hmm. you sat in the place, mm -hmm. it was well, well uh, viewed. Also known as the Chanticleer. And that's correct. And uh, our meeting on uh, the Tuesday, I think, it, yeah, Tuesday, the 20th is Tuesday, it's coming Tuesday, and it's going to be a starting at 10 a.m. and according to Don Landry, our consultant uh, and the man who does everything and plans everything, uh, says it should last approximately two hours. So please try to attend. If you personally can't attend as a board member, can you send some other interested person that's been helping you? There Thank you. you. Go. What else we got? How about, one, how about one more sponsor? How about J.B. Sandals? While we're talking about springtime and the weather's going to be pretty this weekend, you got to get in your yard, get you a wheelbarrow, go get your water hoses, your rakes, your gloves, your ice chest over at J.B. Sandals. Hardware, mercantile, uh, home decorating, picture frames. Nuts and bolts by the one or the dozen or the two dozen. Cookware, everything from your little smoky barbecue pits to your roasters, your magnolites, your cast iron pots. They've got all that as well. And wind chimes. Everybody putting those wind chimes outside to catch that little stiff breeze we've got today. Oh, we've uh, had a lot of wind by JB this, this spring. We really have. Mm -hmm. uh, March winds, but I'll tell you what, I think the March winds were stronger in April than they were uh, in March, but that's okay too. We'll take that. Uh, the movie uh, industry uh, is continuing to grow because we give some real great tax uh, breaks to uh, the movie companies that choose to do their work and do the editing and completion of the movie uh, in the state of Louisiana, they get some big tax breaks. And uh, there's going to be a pilot show uh, to create a new reality show on Zotico Music. And uh, you'll be reading and seeing this. Uh, the, the filmmakers are in. They just came in to take a few shots. And I think they saw so much that they're going to take uh, uh, more of it. I sure hope that uh, they come to St. Landry Parish, mm -hmm. uh, if that's not where they're planning on coming, because we have some of the hottest bands uh, playing Zotico music out of St. Landry Parish. And of course, uh, I can name what well, we can name Gino Delafosse is certainly popular. I saw him in Cankton this weekend. And then you, you, you talk about. Uh, a chubby carrier mm. who Simeon. plays some here but primarily across the world and 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 in Terrence Simeon the same way he plays a little here but mostly around the world. Cedric Watson all over the world just got back from Chicago going to Denmark. You with could his, name all with, of them. With his bass player with, Ian Gitro yeah. in the band. Oh I see okay well we got to get that. <laughs> got to promote him. Yeah, that <laughs> happens to be your son. That's, That's correct. Right. No, if you don't promote That's him right. who will? I got a Zodico bass player in the family so I anyway know. I'm going to see you folks on the other side of one minute with more good Bobby Dupre stories. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bobby Dupre Show, the third quarter of a full quarter program. And uh, we, uh, coast, those, those quarters, I don't know. I, I don't think we get a real quarter. I, I think About we, 17 cents, I think, yeah, is all we get. Yeah, yeah, we're not getting a quarter. Worse. But anyhow, <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's get on to some good programming. Uh -huh. And, uh, of course, what makes it all possible is the good sponsors we've had for years. And here they go. Carl's Thrifty Way. Talk about one of our long-term sponsors, Carl's Thrifty Way. Get your medicine prescriptions filled and if you're looking for stuff even over the counter you know you can go over there and you can get like me when the doctor said you gotta take a little a little prescription steroid and you gotta take a little bit of some some uh, antihistamines you can buy over the counter it breaks that up make it easy for you to take go by Carl's they'll help you out they'll sell you the generic uh, prescriptions to make your, your pocketbook feel a little bit better you follow it with your insurance for you if you haven't met your deductible at the end of the year you go by to give you a printout of all the stuff you bought so you can go file it then on your insurance get all that good money back that uh, that you paid for mm -hmm. anyway mm -hmm. so go 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 and get your payment back but they also got great gifts you know it's graduation time you're looking for uh, home decorating ideas grad uh, gifts for graduates uh, confirmation I think is in two weeks for one of my one of my kids like a graduation confirmation you name it Go get gifts over there at Carl's Thrift Away. And one more, let's go with LHC Group. Man, I ate lunch yesterday with Mr. Harold Taylor, one of the founders of LHC Group. Uh, 
home health care needs. Of course, uh, Harold likes to tell the story about knowing about needy people in the little Palmetto rural community that couldn't get good health care, couldn't get good home service because, you know, Palmetto basically is far away from uh, all the other big towns. And so they started a <clears throat> rural home health care system to try to bring health care into people's homes. And now LHC groups on, on the Fortune uh, uh, tra traded on, on the uh, New York Stock Exchange and, and, and uh all over the country, uh, go by. They can help you out with uh, therapists if you need nurses, if you need equipment at your home, if you need hospice care, palliative care. They've got that type of thing as well. Louisiana Healthcare Group, all about helping people. Well, and that's your second, yeah. Ah, that's huh. that's I mean, your second sheet. one. Uh, I commented a while ago about South Louisiana Community College. Yes, sir. And uh, on the front page uh, of the uh, Friday edition of the Daily Advertiser uh, is for graduate toil gives way to success. And uh, the, the story, the article, is uh, actually about uh, a young lady, uh, and I'll get her name now. Elizabeth Babin. Elizabeth Babin, mm -hmm. and uh, not Lale Babin's uh, daughter, mm -hmm. and I, I, I've never, maybe he goes by a nickname that I should know, uh, the, uh, the father is, uh, according to the article here, is Lawrence Babbin. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, uh, this is a story about a young lady that it took 12 years for her to get her degree in nursing mm -hmm. from South Louisiana Community College. Uh, she would uh, take a, maybe a semester and then have a child. I think she has three children and she's wait, expecting another child. And between uh, all of the raising of the children, she never lost uh, her goal of achieving her license. And she plans on attending, this is like a two-year college. Mm -hmm. Now she plans on attending and getting a higher degree mm -hmm. uh, in nursing. Mm -hmm. So I guess what I'm trying to say here, here's a young lady that could have easily said, well, I've got these children, I'm gonna get me a little job and uh, I'll." Instead of uh, getting a nursing degree, I'll just work as an aide in the hospital. And of course, you, when you start talking about working the rest of your life and the difference in pay, it, it pays to kind of work hard. But a lot of times uh, you lose sight of that. Her daddy uh, says that he was confident that someday she would get the degree that she received last week. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, of course, also uh, earned uh, one of the uh, uh, local attorney in Lafayette, Glenn Armentor's scholarship fund. Uh, it's a go fall. What it's, it's <laughs> anyhow the, the Glenn Armentor scholarship. We've talked about it a number of times. Glenn uh, does a, a tremendous amount of good for the community and was recently awarded a, a special award for his generosity. Pay it forward. Pay, pay, pay it forward. So anyhow, her husband, Colin, uh, is also a person that puts in a lot of time because he's the manager of uh, uh, one of the Mama's Fried Chicken. I think it's the one that Arlene uh, and Don Fisher own on, on, Landry, on, Street. on Landry Street. Mm -hmm. I think that's the one. But regardless, it's one or the other. The other is uh, in the shopping center on the south end of town, mm -hmm. right near... Uh, our Piggly Wiggly sponsor on the program here. So anyhow, it, I, I've never met this beaut beautiful young lady, mm -hmm. never met her, but it, it's a good story. And there's a lot of these good stories out there. And so if you have a goal, don't, don't just let one or two little instances uh, turn you away from the completion of that goal. Uh, it, 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 can, it can happen for you and to you. And of course, uh, in a few days, uh, I'll be presenting scholarships at uh, Opelousas High School that I've been doing since 1968. So anyhow, I'll try to put back in the community. Uh, God has been real good to me and my family and, and my friends, uh, I might add. Chamber president resigns, a long time head of the uh, Opelousa St. Landry uh, Chamber of Commerce, Frankie Bertrand. Uh, and you, you and I had heard about it last week, but we hadn't talked to Frankie yet, so we wanted to wait until we talked with I, her and visited I, with I, her. I called her, and uh, things are happening over there, and uh, she, she was in a good mood. She, there was nothing came out of her mouth that she was disappointed in the way it happened. I'm sure she would have preferred it 
maybe ending slightly different. But retirement is retirement. And in fact, I saw her uh, Tuesday at uh, Kelly's uh, diner having uh, lunch with her daughter and uh, her grandson. So uh, she already looks more, well, she always relaxed. I mean, uh, she attended, I, I complimented. I said, Frankie, uh, we're going to have, uh, I guess, a, a new chamber uh, president to lead us. Well, I'm, we, I'm sure they will. Mm -hmm. and, and, and hopefully uh, they can take off from where you left it. You've brought our chamber a long, long ways. Uh, 25 years of, of service to, to the Opelousa St. Landry. It, it's the Opelousa St. Landry uh, chamber. She started almost the exact same time I went to work with you. I mean, it was almost, uh, I remember meeting her as the, as the chamber, and new chamber president. Born and raised in the Opelousa area, grad, you know, graduate of uh, Opelousa mm -hmm. school, attended uh, T.H. Harris uh, vocational. I heard her say mm -hmm. that before. Mm -hmm. Proud of it, very uh, proud. Very, She's a product uh, of uh, Opelousa and, and, and out that's of That's correct. So, uh, Frankie, to you and your family, uh, nothing but uh, good health. And uh, if uh, you choose to get back into something else, you're going to make somebody like the old Cajun use a good hand. How about one more sponsor? Dixie Storage, all your storage needs. Dixie Storage has locations around the whole parish. Port Barry, Opelousas, is in Washington come to mind. If you want to put little bitty things in, big things in. Big RVs that got to be plugged in. Air conditioned units, just hot units. Little bitty things to put little bitty gear in. Big old things to put big sofas and furniture in. They got all that for you. They also can do inventory control for you. Don't forget about the reception hall in uh, Port Barry, the McCormick Center, which has a full kitchen, can accommodate up to 300 people for events with plenty, plenty, plenty of good concrete parking. And they also have their sister company, A Plus Glass, with locations in Opelousas and in Lafayette. And that's all your glass needs from inspections on the littlest 18 wheeler to the biggest Toyota car. Let's go over. We, we don't have many uh, pictures this week. We don't week, have a lot, but we got but, some. Uh, well, we got some. Let's, let's go right Tom. now. How about this gentleman? Oh, Lordy. Look at my little buddy right here, Mr. John uh, LaFleur, mm -hmm. uh, who was an educator uh, by, uh, I guess, profession and uh, I think still occupation. Is. I think he still teaches, doesn't he? I think so, no. I don't know. I think so. I, yeah. I, I don't know. He, he, He's got a wonderful cookbook. If you get oh, a chance to get I'll his cookbook, I'll tell you what, it, 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 but two beautiful. of them. I, 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 I like to say, you know, John Fulce is famous for making these beautiful cookbooks with all the great photos. He got nothing on John's. John's book is as I, nice as any I've ever seen. Are, are you listening, John Fulce? I mean, Do you know the competition you have competition in, right out there of Grand Prairie, Washington, cool. Louisiana, Ville Platte? <laughs> I'm not sure which one. He... He probably claims heritage from Ville Platte down to Washington. He had, he had come. He had come to give me. A, he said, "I want to give you a book for you to promote yeah, it." I said, "I, right. I want to buy it." And he told me how much it was. I went, "Hmm, okay." So I paid it, <laughs> yeah. and, and I, I didn't see that. the book. Yeah. I paid, and when he come back with the book, I'm like, "Holy smokes!" You talk about no, nice. No, it I mean, was really nice. Really nice. I, I cherish mine yeah. at the house. I'll tell you. And then that's outside the palace. I see they got a, a flower garden. Mm -hmm. How much mail they get in that, in that mailbox? I it don't looks know. Small, I, huh? I check it to see if there's any quarters or anything in there. <laughs> they don't put any quarters. No, in? no, they don't. Put any quarters in there. And that's the golf course out on Ducharme. No, it's not the golf course. That's your front yard, I <laughs> front think. Front yard. That's the pond uh, in the front. That's, that's the water hazard. You got to be careful not to drop your golf ball in and, there. And uh, putting some fresh water. Oh, you know, we had that, uh, I guess, uh, three to five week, uh, literally no rain, and uh, needed to put some fresh water uh, in the nice. pond. And that's, that's the back pond mm -hmm. and uh, the seating area and just a uh, uh, like I said, God's been good to this little old boy from Play Zones, Louisiana. Back and at the palace. this is back at the palace. And uh, this is the Pete family. He, mm -hmm. I said, uh, can I take a picture of you all? I saw you all visiting, and I said, I've seen you before. And uh, he's a, a, a local from the Leonville area. Uh, so he said his first name, but he says, just call me Pete. So he's Pete and she's Lisa, and that's hey. his wife. And a real nice couple. Thank you all for uh, visiting with me. And this is Walt uh, Fithian. Mm -hmm. And uh, I suppose that's his two daughters. But Must be. if not, uh, it's uh, right. one daughter and a friend. You know, they usually have a friend oh, with yeah. them. But uh, they go on to a softball game in the, I think it was the Kaplan area. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the teams today or team, and I, I, I'm not saying that this is one of those teams, but most of the teams that are still playing in these uh, league uh, plays, uh, they kind of like a pickup team. They take members from different mm -hmm. teams. Like an all, what they call an all-star team. Yeah, or, something. Mm -hmm. they, they, right. 
hated to use that all star, but it what it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyhow, uh, very nice. And of course, I knew his, I know his mom and daddy, uh, Wally, and uh, can't think of his mama's name, but uh, see her around all the time. Yeah, and there's Bubba Dewey yep, getting a haircut. And, yep, last week I had gone in, if you remember, I peeped in and told her I was coming back. So uh, Saturday morning, got me a fresh Fresh haircut. haircut. You can't hardly tell it on the program here. Oh, this is back. And this is back at the uh, Breeze uh, Donut Store mm -hmm. shop in the Kelly uh, Cormier uh, Shopping Mall, and mm -hmm. uh, this is one of the sandwiches they offer for sale. So it's not just donuts. Uh, they have a variety sandwiches, donuts, of acres. sandwiches for breakfast, and and then uh, this is at the Sitco Station uh, after mass on uh, I guess Sunday. Yes, after mass on Sunday. Immaculate Conception in Washington, mm -hmm. uh, speaking with Charlie Bill, Charlie did. Bill Swallow, and uh, he knew your daddy. He used to mm -hmm. hunt with your daddy. He said they were members of one of the first hunting clubs formed, officially formed, in St. Landry Parish. I guess that would have been Vizay in those days, the Vizay Hunting Club. Would Up have at been 2 o'clock. Very old. Not, not 2 o'clock. Toward uh, Bayou Jack and all back yeah, there, way right, back there. Right. Uh -huh. And uh, he was a constable for about 15 years and well-known in the area. And thank you for visiting with me. And, of course, turned out uh, a, a new, uh, his first wife, who still working at Opelousa General, uh, Betty Swallow. And you know what I got? Mm. I have no other photos. How about that? That's that a, was a real quick, one quick, this quick, week. quick one. We want to remind everybody that it's... You still have an opportunity to buy those bricks mm -hmm. that are being sold for the St. Landry Parish Veterans Memorial. It's turning out beautiful. Uh, they still have place for more. They still could help your contribution. It's fifty dollars a brick, a brick, and it covers a little area. And they want to cover a nice, beautiful walkway. And you can call Pat Mason Gilray at the, at the St. Landry Parish School Board. You can hunt her down there, and she's doing a great job with it. Uh, and uh, as well as a number of other volunteers, all on volunteers. There's no paid. Uh, uh, help on, on, on this project at all. It's mm -hmm. all volunteer help. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. We're getting right up against the, the break. We're going to see you folks on the other side of one minute for the last quarter. Well, welcome back to the fourth quarter of the Bobby Dupre Show, along with Andrew, my sidekick here. Good morning. And uh, we want to get our, we, we have sponsors. You took care of, took care of the sponsors. Man, great, I was on great, the ball great, today. great, great, great. When I saw some uh, little gaps, I got in. Well, good. We have a lot of little, little, little subjects we can talk about uh -huh. and not take up the whole 15 minutes. Uh, 10 concerts in 24 hours. It uh, doesn't sound like much, but it broke a record of Guinness's World Book. Ten of cities, records. ten cities too. Not not just ten cars, ten cities. He'd travel around to do in that in twenty four hours. And I saw him on national TV. The one one of the shows concerts that he put on. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were some screaming young ladies in there. But you realize the the why would the they be screaming at Hunter Hayes? What, what, why would women well, scream at him? Well, he's a good-looking young twenty-year-old boy, and he can sing and well. He, and he can sing well. And uh, while we were talking about Zodico. Uh, I'm sure he can whip up a Zodico song just oh, as quick as he can sing Absolutely. anything else. He's talented. He's so talented. He, it's either 13 or 15 different instruments he can play. I mean, not just strum it or whatever. He can play that many. And that's my... Uh, you, you, that's not for me. You, that's that's for Steve. We took that from Steve. No, Morgan. that that's mine. Huh? I brought that today. <clears throat> I brought it. Uh-oh, Steve. Uh-huh. Hunter Hayes breaks the record. Anyhow, we, we, we having fun over here. And he's right there from Brobridge, Louisiana, the, and the son of Mr. and Mrs. Leo. You know whose record he Hayes. broke? Hayes. Nope. He broke his own record because nine was the record, and he did ten just to show him he could go all the way. The record had been eight. He did nine, then he broke his own record with ten. Oh, That's I a man. See. He put it out there that way. If they're going to catch him, they got to go way out they, there to they, catch him. They've got to go out there. Mm -hmm. Well, and it Good just... Good job. He's dedicated. And all the money went, it, it was all for charity. All, all the money raised was to help uh, to end child hunger. So, I mean, what a great thing. Oh, I, oh I, that was a absolutely. fundraising issue. Huge to fundraising. I watched it on TV for, 
I was working on a mm -hmm. program or something material when I saw it, and of course I recognized him, and it was one of these shows outside, uh, what is that, NBC that does that in the morning? In the morning, yeah, Today Show. Uh, Today Show, and uh, he was on that show, and I mean, it's not just the young people at that point, the whole the world, world mm -hmm. sees it. Sure. So anyhow, he needs to come over here and we, we can broadcast him on the world show. show. That's correct. The Jazz Fest uh, estimated to bring, to have uh, 435,000 uh, attendees mm -hmm. in those two weekends that they hold it. They may have been the most, it was a pretty high number for them. And at the same time, uh, it goes to show you the problems that uh, the uh, ho racehorse industry is having at the fairgrounds because most of this showing and all of that, all that heavy equipment that brings in all these different acts and all these vendors and uh, television lights and sound systems and uh, uh, big bandstands and all uh, right in where, on, the turf. on the turf and on the dirt track and mm -hmm. all that bottom, the people are milling around on it. And, uh, hurting the horse business. Hurting the horse business. Yesterday, uh, at uh, I guess it was yesterday, or Monday, uh, Monday or Tuesday, at the legislative session, uh, on the Senate side, uh, the uh, Patrick, uh, what's this, what's this young singer from New Orleans? Is Connick? Uh, Harry Connick Harry, Jr. Well. He, that's a brother. Pat is a state representative. Mm -hmm. His bill uh, was heard, and uh, they, instead of passing as a law, uh, it was read into the records of what uh, agreement uh, has been reached between the fairgrounds uh, and the Racing Commission and HBPA. So uh, we started this issue, uh, and I guess the Racing Commission started it too, but I didn't see their representatives at the meeting last week and, uh, and yesterday. I, I'm, I'm not sure if any were there. I understand that possibly Charlie uh, Gardner uh, was in attendance, but I didn't see him when he was there last mm -hmm. Tuesday. Mm -hmm. But anyhow... First it, cousin to Harry Connick. That's what it is. First, first cousin. cousin. Okay, Got good. And, I blew you, you want to do the show? <laughs> Well, I just was trying to get it. You want no. it to be accurate. Oh, yeah. You want got, it to be we accurate. we got to be accurate. we got to get it right. S same family. Because somebody's going to call us and tell us if oh, we don't get it oh, right. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> Probably but, Harry, but thank and you. Harry himself. Maybe yeah. Harry Sr. will call. Still, you mean he used to play the drums? Yeah. You remember? The, the, it, he was uh, I'm gonna attorney general. I'm going to walk away from that statement. No, not that, attorney general. He was uh, DA of New Orleans. Excuse me. For years. For years Years and years. years, and years. Mm -hmm. uh, did you see the ad? Uh, the uh, Mary Landrew ad with, with, with her daddy. Uh, it's cute. I, I thought it was, it was cute. cute, and 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 it's it says a lot, mm -hmm. and it's cute at the same time. Not you know a, a lot of people in her it, stature, uh, that parent is either not alive or very very old and incapable. But the Moon is still Moon. What he was, was head of HUD maybe under Jimmy Carter. Was and, it HUD? And uh, he was mayor for. A long uh, time two or three terms what I, I don't know if they had a uh, now they have a two-term uh, limitation mm -hmm. uh, in New Orleans but at that time I'm not sure but anyhow you don't have to look that up <laughs> listen and, and help me with the program I got here. you I got so, you anyhow the Jazz Fest brings a lot of people to New Orleans mm -hmm. so if we can all work this out together they finally have admitted and, and the horsemen are going to be interested to hear this uh, and the better than everybody else that are interested in thoroughbred and quarter horse because they run 10 days of quarter horse racing every year or they attempt to. Uh, the, they finally have admitted, the engineers, that uh, some of the drains uh, under the uh, surface of the track uh, have been broken. They were the old clay type of uh, Mm -hmm. And they've been, over the years, heavy equipment rolling on them and all. There's some breakage in them. So hopefully all of this can come to uh, a equitable and a, a solution that makes everybody happy mm -hmm. and maybe get more people to go to the racetrack. Kissing, first kissing, now waffling, waffling. Well, y'all know who I'm talking about. I don't have to mention <laughs> that. Swamp Pop Just comes to music 
uh, and market uh, this weekend, Warren Storm, Willie T, there and the Cypress go. Band. Man. And the featured vegetable is herbs. Herbs. And it's going to be back at the Vieux Village, which is on the east end of Opelousas when you're driving in mm -hmm. uh, from Port Barry direction or getting off the interstate, the entrance into Opelousas. Right there, you're going to have some mm -hmm. good, good music. And this goes on from 5.30 to 8.30 this and Friday. And walk around, see all the old and, historic uh, homes there in the Vieux Village while you're there. That has really come on, mm -hmm. and if you get a chance, uh, take a look at the Off and Train Museum. And uh, we were talking about barbecuing earlier, mm -hmm. uh, barbecuing for therapy. And that's what Herman Fusilier, who is the sports writer uh, for the uh, Daily Advertiser, which is part of the Daily World. Mm, I, don't what, uh, I don't know what sports rod. He kind of does. Uh, uh, no, nah, he was a sports and, right, writer. Correct, correct. I'm sorry. You, back, I guess he writes about everything, about everything. About everything. About everything. Yeah, I guess. he's kind of the social uh, yeah. event. It was all about music. The music. Uh, the, and the events happening, like what we just said and there, he had he, something to do with that When he barbecues that every weekend, he got a little <clears throat> bottle. He takes a picture on his barbecue pit. He posts on the internet sometime. A little bottle of some pink stuff in there. I just want to let you know, Herman, I see that picture when you barbecue. And they got to get there. Uh, um, that parish uh, brewing, mm -hmm. uh, which is out of Broussard, Louisiana. Yes, sir. And uh, they seem to be doing well and, and growing, as well as our friends over in uh, Orneville, uh, hi, uh, Highway 31. Highway 31 beer. Beer. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. The not, not family. family. K N O T T. Alderman agreed to t take a pay cut. Uh, the alderman no and the mayor. Uh, I don't think the mayor actually votes on it. He wanted a little steeper cut on the uh, but they don't mayors. Cut, but they don't cut him because you can't vote on your own cut. That goes into next next term. So yeah, you, you these, don't actually have a cut. No, these cuts uh, are not going to take place right away. Right. Uh, but uh, the newly elected next time will take it. Right. And uh, I guess they must have felt they were being overpaid. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, it, it's the phone calls that you have to take 24 hours a day. Absolutely. When a and dog it, barks in the neighborhood, they don't call the sheriff. They and, call the and, mayor. And they don't call the... Uh, the, the they call the councilman. That, that's right. They, don't, they call the councilman. Born to Run, original lyrics on this play... You know, there's all kind of things that sell for a lot of money. Yeah. And uh, the original lyrics of uh, Born to Run uh, by Bruce uh, Springsteen in 1975 uh, was written on a napkin. And somehow or another, that napkin was saved. Mm -hmm. And uh, that napkin has recently sold for $197,000. Wow. Uh, that's a lot of money that's for a lot a napkin. Of napkin. Uh, I had a plan on... Uh, opening up a federal credit union uh -huh. and it was written for me on a napkin and I still have that napkin. Uh, one day I'll tell y'all who gave well, me that idea, a all, very successful The only thing maker. I know about a napkin that you did was you once bought a business in Opelousas called uh, Frank's Liquor Store on a napkin. You and I and... On a, uh, on, a, on a Friday afternoon I was calling to debrief you. I had two Coors lights said, waiting for you. Come over here. We're trying to close this deal. You need to come help me. <laughs> no, that's not what I said. That, that, now you're stretching it. <laughs> I think that's what you told no, me. No, uh, I didn't tell you that. I said I, I, I want you to come on with a debrief you because I've been going all week and <laughs> right, we were really right. making some progress in our computerization. You yes, remember yes. that? Oh, was, I was sure. That was, uh, absolutely. By the time you got there Mm -hmm. I'd found out it was for sale and had agreed on the price, and the keys were handed to me. And left with the cash drawer and that evening. <laughs> red, uh, 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 shoot, uh, what's his name? His wife's still alive. Anyhow, he turned the keys over to me. He said, It's Ray yours. Nolan. Ray no. Nolan. Yeah. Bingo. And uh, <laughs> so I said, what do you mean? He says, well, I trust you. It's yours as of right now. So by the time you got there, we were The deal was bit. done. The deal, the deal was, was done. done. It, you know, that's how things are done when you're working with friends and you it, trust it, He, he left from there and bought a new establishment. He got in a different place. I mean, literally the same night, if I'm not mistaken. He, <laughs> he rolled it right over. Summertime is what he called the place. The old Rose Garden in Nuba is what he went. Remember? I didn't remember Oh, that. yeah, I remember all that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, that, I'm still young enough to remember some I of that. I met one of my wives there one night about midnight. I believe you did. Yeah, in fact, I was riding with you when, <laughs> <laughs> when I did that. I think, I think we were looking for property that You night. think y'all going to want to see that book when I write that book? 
There's going to be some interesting we, we, stories. We were just checking out property. That How night, about our so. friend Rocky DeCluet yeah. from Lawtel, mm -hmm. Louisiana, who happens to be the booking agent uh, uh, assisting on the booking dates for Gino Delafosse, one of the most popular bands in Louisiana at this time mm -hmm. and for some time now and for some, for some time in the coming future. He has announced his bid for school board member in the Lawtel area. Good luck to you, uh, Mm -hmm. Mr. DeCluet, Rocky, better known as Rocky. I see the annual audit report uh, for the finances in Port Barry. Uh, very, very good. I think they came up with a $500,000 annual, I mean, a, a profit mm -hmm. for the year. And of course, those you can't expect that every year. Uh, but when when you can, it sure helps the bottom line for you the future. It. And our, our good friend down there, the mayor, has always been very kind to us when we go visit, and we try to be kind to him to promote all their different events they have in Port Barry. Good little town. I mean, they, and, and they got I, the I municipal expect, library. And and you you have to realize they spent quite a bit of money on, on the library. On the library, and Absolutely. still, I was when I saw that I was looking for the library to have brought them down, but things were good. So. Yeah. Everybody is a winner. And I think it's what they had done. I think they hadn't gotten a rush to finish the library until they saw well, they had the funds coming. Well, then, you know, and then they got help. Joe, Joe Fred and Donnie Perron and, and others, Hargruder. Ken Marks and Hog oh, Raymond Hargruder and, and myself and others uh, put up money. The family, uh, uh, Bernie and uh, the boys uh, Corny, really Corny really put up a, 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 up a bunch of money, stepped up to the plate. And so uh, they, were, they were raised there, and they want to Time give back. Prayer. Oh, for your prayer. my Where'd prayer. Uh, each weekend before we close the program, we uh, try to remind you to attend the church of your choice this weekend. Mm -hmm. And uh, we close with a little prayer, a little thought. Lord, bless everything I think, say, do, and suffer so that it may acquire eternal value for me. Thank you for visiting with us. Thank you for listening to the program. Tell a friend. And uh, Andrew, I certainly want to thank you. And if you have any ideas you'd like to pass on to us, please do so.